Aquarian Evil, Aquarian e Aquarian Evoru is the sequel to the 2005 anime series Genesis of Aquarian. It was originally announced on February 25, 2011, by the production staff. It aired on TV Tokyo from January to June 2012, and its premiere featured an hour-long special that combined the first two episodes in a single broadcast. Funimation has licensed the anime in North America. The story is set in the same universe as the original Genesis of Aquarion, and takes place 12,000 years after. The protagonists live on a planet called Vega, while most of the antagonists originate from its sister planet, Altair. The main character, Amata Sora, a young man that has kept his ability to fly a secret since youth, meets a girl named Makono Suzushiro, and they become fast friends. However, invaders from Altair begin large-scale attacks against Vega, forcing Amata and Makono into a long battle for the planet as members of an organization called Neo Deava. There they, along with other young men and women called Elements who also possess special powers, are recruited to pilot giant robots called Aquaria in the defense of Vega. Like the original, the themes of love, mutual understanding, and individual growth play an important role in the story, albeit in different ways. For example, a prohibition on romance is enacted on the members of Neo Deava for the duration of the series. The main characters are again reincarnations of the legendary beings described in Aquarion, and much of the latter half of the series works to establish connections with the series' predecessor. Topic. Plot summary 12,000 years after the events of Genesis of Aquarion, mankind living on the planet Vega, Vu Ga Vega is threatened by a new enemy from the planet Altair, Aruti Gia Aruti Kai whose female population was wiped out by a mysterious disease called the Curse of Eve, Evu no Jo Ivu no Noroi. The Altaeans using their abductors just like the Shadow Angels, invade the cities in Vega to kidnap its female inhabitants, looking for a way to ensure the preservation of their race. To defend against the invasion, the Neo Deava Neo Deba Neo Deba organization establishes two teams, one composed of only males and other of only females, each one piloting their own giant machines called Aquaria. To protect their new friend Makono, teenager Amata Sora makes use of the power he has kept in secret his entire life and by combining vectors with male and female pilots into one single robot, the legendary giant Aquarion is reborn. Topic. Themes Aquarion EVOL, while a giant robot show at heart, focuses mostly on the characters and character development. Of its many themes, that of love is the most prominent. The restriction placed on the members of Neo Deava that forbids love at the same time permits a real development in the characters' relationships from infatuation and teen romance to love. It also presents a different view of love held by characters of Altair, whose perceptions of it are warped by the current state of their planet, that of the complete extinction of women. The theme of love is explored further in a few other examples, such as a character from Neo Deava and an Altair spy growing very attached to each other, and another character being forced to examine his own feelings after his love interest is transformed into a man. Overall, love and relationships between characters lead to them being able to at least partially understand each other. While not as big a theme as romantic love in the series, family relationships are also explored. Three of the main characters, Amata, Makono, and Mix, all have strained relationships with parents for various reasons, and each is forced to come to terms with what those relationships have produced. Amata's feeling of abandonment, Makono's feelings of shyness, and Mix's moral opposition to her father's behavior are all explored through the relationships they have with each other. As in the original Aquarion, reincarnation of people of myth and legend is a major theme. However, the series repeatedly undermines assumptions made by the viewers, especially those that have watched the original series. The many plot twists regarding the identity of the characters' reincarnations are brought to a head during their final battle. Topic. Production 
Many staff members from the original Aquarion were brought back to work on this series, however, as the director Kawamori wished to create a series that didn't require viewers to have seen the original, many themes were reworked. The main character designs were split between two designers, Chinatsu Kurahana, who worked on the male characters, and Ishida Kana, who was in charge of the female ones. Media. Topic Anime Aquarion Evil first premiered on TV Tokyo on January 8, 2012, in a one hour special featuring its two first episodes. Just like the original series, it is produced by Studio Satellite and directed by Shoji Kawamori. It was announced at Supernova Melbourne 2012 that Madman Entertainment had acquired the series for English release. At Otakin 2012, Satellite had announced that Funimation whom later confirmed has licensed the series. <laughs> Manga On January 14, 2012 the manga began publishing by Media Factory, an adaptation of the anime written by Aogiri. OVA Sosei no Aquarion Love is an OVA featuring a crossover between characters from both Aquarion EVOL and its prequel Genesis of Aquarion. It aired in Japan on July 2, 2015, just before the premiere of the newest Aquarion series Aquarion Logos. Light novel On April 25, 2012, a light novel adaptation of the anime, written by Yasujiro Uchiyama, began serialization by M. F. Bunko J., with illustrations by Kana Ishida, one of the anime's character designers. Topic theme songs Opening theme Kimi no Shinwa tilde Aquarion Dai Tu Shou Jun no Shen wa tilde Aquarion Di Er Jong Kimi no Shinwa tilde Aquarion Dai Ni Shou Your Legend, Aquarion Chapter 2 by Akino with Bless 4 EP, 3-15 Paradoxical Zoo Paradokashikaru Zoo Paradokashikaru Zoo by Akino with Bless 4 EP, 16-26 Ending themes Gecko Symphonia, Yu Guang Shinfonia Gecko Shinfonia, Moonlight Symphonia by Akino and Aki of Bless 4 Unoa no Mori, Unohanamori Unoha's Forest, by Yui Ogura as Unoa Thrul EP, 15-25 Insert songs Several pieces of music from Genesis of Aquarion's original soundtrack are featured as insert songs, among brand new compositions. Eve no Danpen, Evu no Duan Pian Ivu no Danpen, Fragment of the Eve by Akino from Bless 4 EP, 4, 6, 11, and 17. Omna Magni, Omuna Maguni I Can Fly, by Yui Makino EP.7 Go Tight, by Akino from Bless 4 EP. 8. Pride, Nageki no Tebi, Pureto Tan Kino Lu Pureto Tilda Nageki no Tebi, Pride, A Journey of Grief, by Akino from Bless 4 EP. 10, 18, and 24. Aquaria Mao Sora, Aquaria Wu Yu Kong Aquaria Mao Sora, Skies of Aquaria by the member of LSOT EP, 12, 19, and 24. Koya no Heath, Huang Yi no Hai Su Koya no Hisu, Heath of the Wastelands by Akino from Bless 4 EP, 13 Genesis of Aquarion by Akino from Bless 4, with English lyrics by Bless 4 EP, 14, and 26. Genesis of Aquarion, Chuang Sheng no Aquarian Sose no Aquarian, by Akino from Bless 4 EP, 16, Nike 15 Sai, Nike 15 Sway, Nike Jugo Sai, 15 Year Old Nike, by Akino EP, 22, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00 by Akino from Bless 4 EP, 26. As with the original series, Yoko Kano composed the theme music and soundtracks. Gabriella Robin wrote the lyrics to both of the theme songs. The original soundtrack, Aquarian Evil, Psalms of Eve, Aquarian Evol Evu no Shipian, Aquarian Evoru Ivu no Shihan, was released on May 23, 2012. 
an original album titled Love at New Dimension, featuring all of the vocal tracks featured in Aquarion Evil with some new instrumentals by Kano and new songs were released on July 25, 2012.